But first we're gonna get a workout in and chug this coffee. What's up, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Subscribe down below. I post two vlogs a week. I live in New York City. It's a chilly week in January, but today is no ordinary Monday. Hence the spray tan that I will shower off after this workout. We're going to the Mean Girls movie premiere. Whenever I get the chance to go to a movie premiere, I actually pinch myself a thousand times because that is just so crazy. Like, what am I doing there? But I am beyond thankful. Brooke and I actually got invited by Meta to go to the Mean Girls premiere. Brooke and I were like, we gotta do this up. So we're getting our hair and makeup done today. Um, I was toying with the idea of wearing pink because it's like Mean Girls and everything, but I actually found this outfit that is so me that you guys will see later and it's not pink at all. It's very unpredictable. I think Brooke is wearing pink and she's gonna slay. Oh my gosh, I can't stop saying slay. Anywho, we do not have much time. Actually, I need to bundle up because it's like cold outside. But we're going to a class at Equinox. A ton of my friends always go to this one, so it's fun. It's Bala Bangle Bar and it's not always easy, especially on Monday mornings. But yeah, just getting some errands done this morning. Been really happy with my cadence of like working out since the new year. Need my water bottle. So yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along the day. We're gonna get started. Let's go. with almond milk and I was like yes I'm finally a regular me texting my hairstylist right now like if I should wash my hair or not because of the hairdo I'm literally sending pictures of my face framer she was like as long as your face frames aren't greasy I'll show you guys the hair I'm doing but this is so funny to me <laughs> just showered my spray tan off it looks so good I use Bessa Bella bronze in the city they come to your apartment it's absolutely amazing put on this robe that actually drink poppy sent me and <laughs> it's kind of amazing I have some work that I wanna get done because come 1.30 when we start doing hair and makeup, that's the rest of my day. So we have a lot to get done in the next few hours or next two hours or so. I am so excited though. And Brooke's coming here and we're getting ready together. It's gonna to be like, I'm just so excited. Mean Girls, like, is Renee Rapp gonna be there? Probably, Tina Fey, I hope. John Hamm, who else is in this movie? I'm literally blanking, but I'm, oh, um, is his name? Connor Briney, the guy who plays Conrad in Summer I Turn Pretty's in it. It's gonna be a good night. I've turned into Brooke because I used to make fun of her. She would always just like, as soon as we got home, she would put her hair up and I have become the same person. I just can't be bothered with my hair. And, and, and usually if I just use like a little scrunchie like this from Kitsch or Silk or any of those like slip scrunchies, it doesn't ruin my hair and I just hate. But then in my vlogs, I just look like this all the time. So hopefully I didn't just point something out that you guys didn't notice before. Um, my new favorite tool is this face gym tool. I like how it has like the ridge here. So we're gonna do some, let me use this Trilogy Rosehip Oil. It's really good to get your skin all lubed down. <laughs> to uh, use your tools. I'm just feeling like a little depuff moment. Sounds about right. So I'm just putting this oil on my face and I'm gonna sit at my computer and do this for a long time <laughs> because we are gonna be taking photos tonight. I'm doing something different with my hair that I've literally never done. It's kind of that like Pamela Anderson updo with the pieces in the front just like messy and I'm nervous but I'm also excited because I think I think I'll be able to pull it off. I hope. I have two little like <laughs> gifts, I guess, for Brooke. One, I was going through when I was cleaning my closet yesterday. I found all of our old menus from our other live show, and I saved one for her. I didn't know if she wanted it. She might be like, I don't need it, but I saved one as well to put on my shelf because this one is just so nice. We have different drinks now, but we had Don't Text, Northern Girlfriend, Southern Girlfriend, Unblock Me, and Fireball Shot, but now we switched that to Grey Goose Shots because the gals have changed it up. Um, also, while I have you guys, we're going to more cities for our live shows and they are so much fun. Like after the New York show, so many of our friends came and family and they were like, this is not what I expected in the best way. Like I almost wanna figure out a way to infuse what we do in the live shows in the podcast because 
like it's so like it's I think it's just such a fun night. Like we talk about things that we just do not talk about on the podcast. So highly suggest coming. Charlotte, Toronto, Philly, all different weekends in February. I will have the link down below, but if you just go to galsandthegopodcast.com, click live shows, it'll take you. Sh Charlotte is February 2nd. Toronto is February 16th. And then I think Philly is February 23rd. They're all like Fridays. So I'm so excited. And we have different drink menus there. And then I also brought, bought Brooke one of these. These are the Sol de Janeiro Rio Sunset Glow Oils, Glow Motions, whatever. They were sold out for so long. And every single live show, Brooke has let me use this stuff. It smells amazing and it makes your skin look so good in photos on stage. And I actually like, at one point I feel like I was using so much of it and it was sold out. And so she was literally feeding off of this one bottle. So she told me there was a restock and I was like, I have to buy myself one. And then I bought her one too, because she deserves it. Anywho, I'll talk to you guys later. So my friend Cassidy for Christmas, we did like a secret Santa. She got me this beautiful candle and I just finished it. It's from the brand Ina Kari. And I was like, I can't just toss this. I need, and she literally said, I got this for you because I knew you could use something with it. I've been needing a place to put all my lip stuff because I have a ton of, oh my God, the sounds of the city. I have a ton of lip stuff in my like vanity area, but I also like to have an area over here with like, like I literally just have this bag of, lip stuff so if i'm on the go i just need to grab something so i feel like this would look so good on my counter because it's white but i just need to get that out people say to freeze your candle but i tried that and it did not come out so i'm gonna do the boiling water method i did this once before and that's how i eventually got the wax out so this is just a little bit at the end so i'm gonna boil that water and get to it because i just finished like it just kind of started smoking so i think it was done this is just so beautiful oh Still smells so good though. All right, let's see. This could go terribly wrong too. I don't really know what I'm doing. Just feel like the heat might help kind of get it all up. I think it actually helped to kind of melt it all so I can just get that metal thing. Yup, yup, we're fishing. I got it, yay. Yeah, wait, it's literally empty now, you guys. That was perfect. Just clean it up with a little bit of the extra hot water I have. But I don't understand the freeze thing because this worked perfectly. And then I'll just wash it and I can put my lip stuff in it. Perfect! Let it be known, this is the most arts and crafts you will see on this channel. I am not good at this. Okay guys, I just laid out the fit. I'm wearing this set from Dion Lee. I am so excited. I've had my eye on this for so long. And I was like, this is when I'm gonna wear it. And it was on sale, so I was really excited about that trying to decide bags and like if I do silver or gold jewelry, I feel like I'll end up going with gold or silver. And then I'm just gonna wear these black pumps. I literally just picked these pants up at the tailor like 10 minutes ago. So, so excited. Jackie's here. She did my hair for my birthday and some other things and she's absolutely incredible. She's setting up. Brooke will be here soon. Kat will be here soon. It's gonna be a whole glam party in here for Mean Girls. We're so excited. Your outfit's so cute too. Thanks. Like, with these embroidered yeah, wow, I always love your fits. <laughs> I kept texting that it puts it in photo mode, it doesn't put the audio. Like, you have that now. Brooke's here. Hello. This is so beautiful. Where'd you get this? Revolve, it's um, NBD. Uh, yeah, I like the cut, it goes a little lower in the back. It's, it's cute. so yeah. pretty. about to eat a full ass meal while Kat yeah. does my makeup. Hello Fresh baby. Wow. Right? That's not a reference photo. Give me some body glam, body glow, body glam glow. Guys, Kat just did my makeup and my hair is like clipped up right now. We're gonna shush it. This is such a vibe. Need to figure out, figure out earrings. I'm thinking silver. It just feels like it's more of a cool toned outfit. We have these or just like silver hoops, but I had a feeling I might like these hoops with it. Hmm. And then I'm gonna do this bag, just cause I don't really plan to hold the bag on the carpet. So, okay. Oh! Yeah, oh, I was picking out my earrings. Oh wait, I can leave my bag here. Taking out the clips, we're zhuzhing the, the curls in the front. I'm so excited. I'm, 2024 is the year I try new things of looks. I love this hair. So good! Looking so good! Yay! Get in, loser.
walked the carpet. That was so much fun. I can't wait to see the photos later. You guys, that movie was so good. I had no idea what to expect. And I mean, I can only speak for Brooke and I, but we were both laughing out loud, like the whole movie. It was really well done. It's definitely a musical. So there are parts where they break out to, into song. I enjoyed them. I feel like like a lot of them, it wasn't like a whole long song. There's only a few that they did like a really long song. Long song. <laughs> and it was so good, I mean, all, there was like a surprise appearance in there by someone you would love to see. It was just such a good, they did such a good job too of tying in the old movie to the new movie. Like, oh, this has only happened once before. You know, it was just really cute. I was on the edge of my seat the whole movie. Brooke and I had popcorn and candy and it was just, it was a really good vibe. We didn't get to see the cast, which I was really sad about because usually they'll like come and like maybe say hey, but it was definitely a hectic night. There were multiple theaters. However, when I went to the bathroom, uh, Tina Fey walked past me, so that was a slub sighting. It was very cool, and it was so fun. And Brooke's here. Hi. She's sleeping over. Oh my God! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! No, I knew she's to going up. She like had all of her um, stuff here, but so fun. We are so beyond grateful to Paramount and Instagram fun. and everyone else who made it happen to get the Thank gals you there. Get the gals, mean gals. <laughs> Get the gals to Mean Girls, and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning. I'm gonna keep up with my routine of pressing go on the coffee and then making my bed in the time it takes to have my coffee brew, because otherwise I'm not gonna make my bed. And that also includes opening up the blinds, as I am doing right here. Fun fact, my dad made me these little curtain poles. Like, he literally strang them a lot. Like, he's amazing. Coffee's finishing up, done. It literally just finished. Slay! Oh my gosh, I need to stop saying slay. This mirror is here because the hair stylist yesterday asked if we could have a mirror. So while she was doing my updo, she could see what it looked like from the front. I didn't realize that was a thing, but she said it's super helpful. So I moved the mirror <laughs> from my bedroom. So when I woke up this morning, I was really confused. But now look how good it looks in there. All of my bobby pins from my hair are still right there last night. I just took them off and left them. That's a later problem. I'm gonna light this candle from the brand Caftari, Dolce Far Niente, rose, sandalwood, and violet. It smells so good and I haven't even started burning it yet. So that can only mean that it's gonna smell amazing once lit, right? It's not raining, but I feel like it's gonna be a rainy, cozy day. We've got all the morning routine things here. My Ember mug, my Skinny Confidential ice roller, my Doing Well Daily Planner that you can always buy because there's no date. There's a single day on each page. You choose to date it. I love it, this is my get her done side. This is the more inspirational side. So I'm gonna do that, listen to some music, just kind of set the vibes. And I also decided that this morning was an eye patches morning. And I'm wearing these from the brand Grace and Stella. I got them on Amazon and I keep them in my refrigerator and they feel really good. Just got my Whole Foods grocery delivery. It is the best. You place the order the day before and usually can schedule delivery for the next day. Kind of a random mixed bag here because some items are for, like I planned two meals of dinners with hopes that I'll have leftovers. So I'll be making one of them later today, I think. So I'll share that with you guys, but they both involve different types of chicken with like edamame, onions, stuff like that, and green beans. Um, lemon, paprika, that was all for the recipes. I got more of the Good Culture Low Fat um, Cottage Cheese because I'm addicted, I have one a day. Um, and they're all, sometimes sold out, so I was really happy because then they'll send the whole one, the whole milk ones, which I literally will eat, but these taste better to me, so happy about that. Carrots and hummus is my favorite hummus right now with the roasted red pepper. Got a couple apples just to have as a snack. I know this is not fresh garlic, but you know what? Sometimes I'm cooking and I'm like, oh, this could use garlic, so it's nice to just have this in my fridge. And then I got some kitchen bag, some trash bags. I like how they call them kitchen bags. Parchment paper and dishwasher packs. Can we talk about how my hair 
was up in an updo last night with tons of bobby pins and curled and now it kind of looks like I got a blowout. Like I just brushed through it. What? <laughs> Going to New York Pilates this morning. I love New York Pilates on the days. Like, it's still challenging, but it's like a chill atmosphere. They play like jazz beats. Like, I don't even know, like slow house beats almost. And it's it's not like it's difficult, but it's weirdly relaxing. I, I like to do New York Pilates on days that Maybe I'm, you know, if I was up late the night before, or like if I still want to work at him, but I just need a little bit more of a chill thing. So I'm wearing this 437 sports bra and this jacket. If you know, you know from the podcast, um, the story of the set. But the bottoms are biker shorts, so I'm not gonna wear those. And then I'm just wearing some leggings from Athleta. I'm gonna throw over a jacket. We're gonna go be a little Pilates princess. Oh, I need my socks. Honestly, if I remember, I do like to wear little earrings to workout classes that are, you know, not as high intensity because, you know, you just feel a little cuter. And if you end up running errands after, which I usually do, you just feel the tiniest bit more put together. So I have special um, Pilates socks and I finally got some high, uh, like some, what's the word? High, high rise socks, <laughs> like crew socks, but they have little grippies on the bottom. They're so cute because with Pilates, I can't do it barefoot. I need these grippy socks because otherwise I'm slipping and sliding around because if you get a little sweaty, it's game over. And I did, New York Pilates is reformer Pilates. So you're on like one of those machines and I've had a couple close calls. <laughs> Perfume of the day. We'll go with Autumn Vibes from Replica. I really like this one. I'm a little lip balm. I don't even know what time it is. I think I need to have left already. Yet. I just kind of forgot that time was the thing and I was just taking my time vlogging for you guys. Oh, we're fabulous on time. We're all good. Clearly still feeling inspired from the Mean Girls movie because I'm in like pinky purpley colors. It might rain or snow today. I think rain. Um, so whenever I know it's gonna rain, I like to wear like a puffer, especially these Aritzia Super Puffs because they have these built in little things for your hands, which is such a game changer. I will have this linked down below. This is like a cropped one, um, but it has a hood. That's why, and it's like a big hood. Like it's got surface area, which I really like so that it doesn't actually, like the rain really doesn't get on you. So we're gonna head to Pilates. I'll probably get a smoothie after what's new. And uh, we have an exciting day today. Ryan and I are going to the Knicks game tonight with the Knicks, like at MSG. So I think it'll be a very cool experience. We have a big gals in the go call today with Brooke and both of our managers to kind of plan our world takeover. Ha ha ha, no I'm kidding. And some other fun things. So anyways, let's get the day started. Such a good class. I was too cold to get a smoothie because my hands. Sometimes you just, eat. like props to you guys who get iced coffees in the cold. I mean, I will sometimes, but I need to have like gloves or something. I'm a baby. Um, okay, but we're gonna have cottage cheese because that sounds really good. I don't know if this is a weird thing to say, but my cottage cheese time like my daily cottage cheese is a very spiritual experience for me. So like the other day my mom called me and I answered it and I was like, mom, I need to, like this is a moment for me right now. Mm, that just hits. And I need to sit here in silence and look out into the distance. I don't even go on my phone during cottage cheese time. It's like serious. You guys are like, she's so drama. I just got this in the mail. It's this black faux fur little jacket. And I mean, obviously I'm wearing it with my workout outfit right now. It's from Boohoo. It was so inexpensive. I have a collage on my LTK. By the way, everything's always linked to my LTK. Like all of my outfits on my LTK profile. And I was with Kellyanne the other night and she had this beautiful long fur coat on it. And I was like, where'd you get it? She was like, literally Boohoo. And I was like, that is so perfect for stuff like this. So I will have this one linked down below. I've just been on New Year's Eve. I was wishing that I had some sort of black faux fur jacket. And I actually like this that it's not cropped. 
I even wish it was a little longer, but this is kind of perfect. I think it's so chic. It has little thing like clasps to kind of pull it all together and it's quite warm. It's not like super thick, but I just wanted to highlight this because I think it's the perfect going out jacket in the winter time. And it's so chic. Again, looks very strange with this workout outfit. Just showered, put on some face oil and we're doing a little deep puffing here, or really it just kind of feels good. Put on this little quarter zip from Zara, about to hop on. It's probably gonna be like an hour long call with Brooke and I's team. I'm really excited. We have so many new ideas for gals in the go and just kind of how we want to approach things. So I made myself another cup of coffee, decaf, of course. I feel like I need a little lip balm, but yeah, this is gonna be a good episode. And if you don't already listen to Gals in the Go podcast, what are you doing? Listen every Wednesday. Okay, leaving in an hour and a half, so I need to start getting ready, but I wanna just start, I think this is an ideal meal because I just put everything, I think I just put everything in one pan and it all cooks together. It's from the Eat Well 101 website. And um, it's lemon garlic butter chicken thighs and green bean skillet. So um, I don't have enough time to go through all this, so I'm just gonna make it, but I just wanna show you guys where I got it from and I'll let you know if it's tasty. Okay, we got the chicken cooking and seasoned. Microwave the green beans and I'm gonna add them to the skillet in a little bit. And what's fun is once I cook the green beans, then I add the chicken back in and I put chicken broth and one half of a lemon juice in it. I think it's just gonna mm, make it also, oh, and garlic and parsley. I think it's gonna make it so tasty. You guys know already how much I love using pickle to rent things in the city from other gals with great taste. And I was like, does anyone have a New York, New York Knicks like cool jacket? And I found this girl, shout out Avery. She's also a follower. So I was so excited to borrow from her, rent from her. She had this sick jacket. I mean, it's perfect. So if you live in New York and you have like a sporting event, don't go and buy something, just see if Pickle has it. I'm not gonna wear it with this, obviously, but <gasps> it's perfect. It's a little oversized. I'm thinking with like a black top of swords jeans, and then I have sneakers that kind of match this orange. And I also, from Pickle, rented a Rebecca Minkoff like basketball bag, but it didn't end up working out with the timing. So I'm pumped. I do need to get ready soon, but I'm so hungry I didn't eat lunch. So we gotta prioritize this and see my goal of the new year is to cook more. So normally I'd be like, oh, let me just Uber eat something really quick, but no, we cook it. I mean, that looks incredible. I think my new thing, in 2024, these one pot skillet situations, it's just easy to cook, it's not intimidating, and it all gets all the juices of it all together. Yummy. Guys, guess who got the bag? I actually ended up, I was renting from my friend Maddie and I didn't even realize it at first. It was someone I knew, like it was on her closet. This is the Rebecca Minkoff basketball bag. It's so perfect, it's actually pretty big. Um, and it has a crossbody or a, this strap, like this is, it's giving. So this is the jacket that I borrowed. Love pickle tonight, clearly. Let it be known, my hair was literally in a Pamela Anderson updo last night and I was able to make it look like this. Amazing. Did makeup, same hoops as last night. I was toying with like, <laughs> boom, boom, wearing the jacket like this, but I don't know, part of me, Kind of likes these two buttons. I don't know. I could be really delusional and maybe I'll change my mind. And then I ended up wearing my black Nike Dunk so it ties in the black of the basketball and then the pants obviously. But I'm really happy with this outfit. However, it's not really raining right now but there's like a big storm coming into New York right now. And it's supposed to be its worst at like 9 p.m. So I'm just not sure how the night's gonna go. We're gonna bring an umbrella, but I still wanna go. I was using my light so you guys could see me better. Um, I don't know though. So we're just gonna see what happens. Ryan will be here soon and we'll go from there, but we're gonna get to be on the court, like court side for like 15 minutes while they're warming up and I'm gonna eat up every moment of that. Ryan's so pumped. And then um, our seats are really nice too that they gave us. So I'm very, very, very grateful and I'm really excited. So yeah, I'll give you guys another look at the fit if you care. I am very happy with this outfit. I feel like a wag and I'm not. <laughs>
Wednesday I just uploaded a new vlog which is like Christmas morning to me and I'm really proud of it. It's like the first weekend of my life week in my life of 2024 and I hope you guys like it. I have a confession to make. I've already had my coffee and I did not make my bed while the coffee was at Bruin. And that's because I'm just like a little extra tired. I had a couple drinks last night, no regrets. And then I came back, I watched Inventing Anna. I've seen it before, but I decided I wanted to restart it because it's so good. And I just really enjoy the show. It's on Netflix. It's about Anna Delvey or Anna Sorkin. I'm taking a break. <laughs> I'm gonna pick out my workout outfit of the day. I have to leave in like 10 minutes to go to work out with Jane, my trainer, every Wednesday we do that. I was about to pick out the same set I wore last week and that just won't work. We'll go with a little taupe vibe from Set Active. Last night was so fun. The next one, it was such a cool experience. Our seats were so good. And what was I gonna say? I haven't been to a basketball game since like a Georgia basketball game, like my sophomore year of high school or college maybe. Um, I hadn't been to a Knicks game yet and neither had Brian. I was so excited. Okay, during the game, like while they're playing, they would be playing music, not the whole time, but there were definitely multiple, I don't know if you call it drives, where they'd be like going from back and forth and they'd like be playing rap music and I was obsessed with it. It was so fun because normally you kind of play music in between plays and stuff, but I guess because basketball is more uh, fast paced per se, they just keep the music going. I don't know, I was, I was obsessed you guys. It's so fun. It was great. And I felt like I was Andy and how to lose a guy in 10 days. Like I, poor Ryan, I was making him. I, he's always so nice about taking my photos, but I was really like, can you please help me get a photo? Because I was trying to get a cool picture, but like, I didn't want to bother other people. So I was like sitting and making Ryan contort into different positions to get a photo of me. Um, but I got one, it was decent. It was not like my, most pride, prideful work, but it was fun nonetheless. Here's the set, and then I just got these shoes from New Balance because I've been wearing lots of taupes and browns and creams, so I wanted to have a pair of sneakers, like athletic sneakers, and I really like these. They are the, I'll have them linked below. They're men's, but I just get like my size in the men's, you know? I popped into dry bar on my walk back and got a blowout. She did my blowout in 18 minutes. 18 and washed my hair. It was incredible. So I still need to like shower, but this helps because I'm taking a lot of content today and tomorrow. So it's be perfect We're recording the podcast tomorrow. But I have some people coming in like 30 minutes to come pick up clothing donations because I'm always cleaning up my closet. Um, and I'm very grateful that they come pick it up, which is super helpful. Um, so I'm giving myself not even 30 minutes. 10 minutes to kind of just do a little quick clean. Like I just kind of let this place go for a second over here. Got back from the game last night and just placed things. So we're gonna do a quick little 10 minute refresh. Oh, and I have dishes. That would be good to do too.
surprise, another brown outfit. I'm going to the pickle storefront in West Village today to, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm meeting with the team and I'm also gonna try on some things they have in the store. I'm traveling next week, so if I see anything cool, some of my pieces are there, so I'm gonna probably like post some stories or something. It'll be cool to see my pieces there. Um, turtleneck, revolve, pants. Where the heck are these pants from? I don't know. They're like brown faux leather pants. I really like them. I tucked these in, but I'm thinking I need to untuck them. <laughs> Sometimes I like that look with the straight leg pants, but not today. Um, boots are Dolce Vita, belt is Zimmerman. And then to pull it all together, I'm wearing this coat from Naked Fashion. A lot of browns going on, but I love it. And then, so yeah, I'll go do that. And then I'm coming back here and my assistant's coming over and we're gonna film some content. So here's the fit. Basically, the whole fit is the jacket when you have the jacket on. And then it just kind of looks like this. So let's go. I'm not particularly sure the last time I updated. I think it was at the pickle store. We filmed a fun little like closet tour there and then I came back and I filmed some other stuff, shot an outfits reel because I love doing that. Now I'm about to head to dinner with one of my best friends ever, Daly. She was one of my first friends at Georgia. We were homemates and she lives here in the city and we do not see each other enough. So I texted her, I was like, I wanna see you. And she was like, same. So we're getting dinner tonight. We're going to Isabel's Osteria or Osteria. We've gone together before and we both just love it we both just love italian food so that's what it is it's in like flat iron area i'm wearing the same thing as earlier i just switched into this sweater from i think it's a and bang just because it's really windy out there and this just feels more cozy I'm trying to decide if i should eh. yeah maybe i'll just do my sneakers my new neutral sneakers i feel like this looks cute and then i might just wear that same brown trench over top and call it a day I know it's not as cute, but like if we walk around or anything, I don't know. I just want to be mobile. Good morning. It's Thursday. I decided it's sheet washing day because I had spray tan stains all in my sheets. It always comes out, but since I'm not getting a spray tan like this weekend or anything, I was like, I actually want clean white sheets. Um, there was only a few stains, but it like disgusted me. So <laughs> good morning. It's sheet washing day because I didn't have, I didn't wash them on Sunday like I normally do because I had so much laundry. We're gonna do that now. Um, this detergent smells so good. I use it on any of my whites by the laundress. It smells so good. It's not like this crazy unique scent. It's just like a very clean scent. Weirdly reminds me of the shampoo they must use on Finley, my dog, when they groom him. But I don't know, it smells so good and I'm like obsessed. So thought I'd shout that out. Good morning, I'm half asleep. We're recording the podcast for the first time in 2024 today, which I'm so excited about. So I need to figure out what to wear. Usually Brooke and I will text and be like, this is my vibe. Because sometimes we go more casual, sometimes we're going a little bit more dressy. So actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna text her. This is your reminder to sharpen your lip liners. I, there's such a difference in my lip liner and how it applies when I sharpen it. Just a little reminder, if your lip liner is not doing what it needs to recently, you just need to sharpen it probably. However, makeup is done. I've been doing like a brown liquid eyeliner just like on the very rim and I'm really happy with how it looks, especially on camera. And we're recording in the studio, obviously. Wearing these Orium Collective earrings. I love them. I'll again, always have everything linked down below. Why is my collar popped? Here's my outfit for filming. Brooke said she was wearing a sweater and jeans, so I wore a sweater and jeans. This sweater, I think it's from Naked Fashion or Dish. No, it's from Dish, D-I-S-S-H. A gold day jeans, my new balances because we're taking the subway and we're walking and we wanna be comfortable. And then I'm just gonna wear my brown puffer over top. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty chill vibes. Part of me feels like I should wear a color because it looks better on camera. But I'm feeling this. It's kind of giving Coastal Grand and I like it. Let's go to the studio. 
clear of the closing doors, please. You literally look like a J. Crew model right now. It's giving chic, tailored look. I like it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, friends. We're back now, about to hop on a couple calls back to back and just do some computer work. I made another coffee. I'm like tired. I went to bed really late last night for no good reason. Actually, yes, a good reason. I was finalizing all of my Gals in the Go live show outfits for next month because I wanted to, because I had like a ton of pink stuff already that I had bought. So I just wanted to try everything on and make sure I have three outfits and I do. So feeling good about that. Actually, that's probably gonna be too hot. Why am I sipping that right this moment? Um, but yeah. Just finished working. Oh my gosh, I got so much done. I feel so good. And I'm just standing in front of my heater. I was literally sitting in front of my heater the whole time. It's just like a little, it's not a space heater. It's a heat dish. So it doesn't heat up a whole room. It just literally puts heat right where you are and it feels so good. I wanted to show you guys something funny. I don't think I've showed this. When my dad was here, he had told me you should store toilet paper and like other stuff behind your mirror because I was like, I want to buy things in bulk, but I don't have anywhere to put it. And he like jokingly said, or no, he was actually serious. I thought it was a joke to put stuff behind my mirror and I literally did it. <gasps> I have a ton of paper towels and toilet paper there and I have other paper, uh, toilet paper in my laundry room as well. And it's kind of amazing. Like you cannot see it. I just have to remember when I'm out to check behind my mirror before I go buy more. I have to be like, no, 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 I have some more behind the mirror. <laughs> I just had a little peanut butter snack and calls went well. Planning stuff for fashion week, for February fashion week, very exciting stuff. Um, and I'm actually going to an afternoon workout class, which I don't love because I'm like in that slump, but maybe the walk there and the class will wake me up. I think, I don't know, what am I signed up for? It's at Equinox, I'm going with Cassidy. I think it's Bala Bingo Bar. So I wonder if it's the same class I'm going to Monday, but it's a different instructor. Anyways, we're doing that. So we're gonna pick out a workout outfit and I have an event after. I need to switch earrings though, cause these are a little too glam. So I'm gonna keep my makeup on, which is kind of weird for me, but it's not a class. At least if it's the class I'm thinking, I don't sweat too much. As for a set, oh my gosh, I'm so sleepy. Maybe I'll go romper, like jumpsuit. I've been loving this one from Aritzia. I think it's called the Divinity Jumpsuit. It's good for like more low impact workout classes. The glow in my apartment around this time of day is always so beautiful. I just had to shout it out. <laughs> Here's the workout jumpsuit on. I'll have it linked down below. I love it, gonna throw on a jacket too. Remember that candle? Now it is a beautiful little place for me to have my lippies when I'm heading out the door. I love it. I also went ahead and washed this Jo Malone one. It didn't like come out as nicely as I would like it to, but I'm gonna figure out a way to utilize it as well. Heating up the second half of my meal that I made the other day. Just a little chicken with green beans, some garlic, lemon, chicken stock. It's so good. So I'm just heating that up for dinner. Another outfit. How many outfits have I worn today? <laughs> Going to, I don't even know, did I say? My friend Audrey Challenger is hosting an event with Paula's Choice at the New Museum in Lower East Side. It sounds really cool. I'm so excited to check it out and support her, of course. And I've heard great things about Paula's Choice. So we're gonna go and it was an excuse for me to wear an outfit. So I love this little moment. My go-to has been skirt with tights because I just think it's so feminine and so different. Um, and it's great for the winter time if you just don't always wanna wear pants. This blazer I rented from Pickle. It's Brandon Maxwell. Skirt is we wear what? Bottega bag, black sheer tights. And then my favorite Vince Camito boots. And I just kind of like touched up my makeup. Earrings are Love AJ or Electric Picks. That's the fit. Brooke's going too, and I'm sure I'm see, I'll see some other girlies. So let's head over. Yeah. Here I am. <laughs> Hello, you. Hello, you. We're at the event. A night at the AHA Museum. <laughs> I'm home now. A lot of socializing, lots of chatting. It was such a lovely event because it was a ton of Audrey's friends that are also my friends. So it was so nice to catch up with people. 
and I'm just so grateful for what I do and just getting to be in communities like that. And then Brooke and I left at the same time when she was outside, she was helping me take a photo. And we met some followers who, so crazy, they were at the live show in New York, which was cool. So we got to meet them and thank them for obviously coming to the show. But also one of them had just rented one of my dresses off of Pickle for her birthday. And I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. So very happy about that. Love meeting you guys in person. If you ever see us, it is never a bother. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog here because last minute, well, for Christmas, Ryan got me we, he didn't like book it yet because he knows I have a intense schedule, but he was going to take me to a getaway house in New York and we did getaway house outside of Atlanta. It's basically these little like tiny cabins in the middle of nowhere, not in the middle of nowhere, but like for New York, it's the Catskills. But like, if you go to the Chicago one, it's outside of Chicago, Atlanta, outside of Atlanta. And they're so cute and you get your own little kitchen and you can buy firewood. It's so cute. So we're going to do that tomorrow night, tomorrow for one night. I'm leaving like tomorrow afternoon. So I'm gonna end the vlog here because I need a pack and we have to like get up and go because I have something I'm doing in the morning. So I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye.